Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to remove columns from a data frame that consist only of NA values. Now in the video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 3 to 7 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of our studio a new data frame object appears. And we can also have a look at this data frame object by clicking on the object and then you can see that our data frame consists of five rows and five columns x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. And what you also can see is that the columns x3 and x5 consist only of NA values and the column x4 consists of some NA values. Now let's assume that we want to remove only the columns that consist of only an A values. So in this example, the columns X3 and X5. Then we can apply the code as you can see in line nine. So in this line of code, we are specifying that we want to take a subset of our original data frame, which consists only of columns where the number of NA values is smaller than the number of rows. So in other words, we only want to keep columns that consist of at least one non-NA value. Now if we run this line of code, you will see that another data object appears at the top right, which is called data new. And we can also have a look at this data object by clicking on the data object and then you can see that our subset that we have created is consisting of the columns x1, x2 and x4 of our original data, but our all and a columns of the original data x3 and x5 were removed. So this is basically how to remove all and a columns from a data frame in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and you will find a link to this tutorial in the description of the video. In the description of the video, you will also find all the R programming code that I have used in this video, so you could just copy it from there. And furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.